Good morning. My name is Wolfgang Gimbel. I'm from 19 Wetsuits, and we're here this morning with Barb. We're going to show you how to put on a wetsuit without wrecking your uh, your new investment. Okay. So when you start with your wetsuit uh, together, the first thing you want to do is peel it open like a pair of jeans. So I'll let Barb peel that open. So peel open the upper body, so now you can hold the lower body of the suit like a like a pair of jeans. The best solution for getting it on is in, it's important that your skin is dry or as dry as it can be. And you want to avoid using sprays or lubricants or plastic bags or socks and really and truly baby powder is the best thing that's going to work in your suit. If you're going to swim in the lake it all dissolves and you won't even notice that you have baby powder in your suit. So the trick is to be quite generous with it. So you want to fill the legs. Just be careful it doesn't blow all over your friend's stuff. And then while holding it like a pair of jeans, because you can you can you can hold the inside material without wrecking your suit. You can just never pull on the outside. If you pull on the outside surface of the suit, you're you're gonna put small crescent cuts in the skin. So Barb, you can try and get try to get one leg all the way through. That's exactly right. So you can reach down on the inside and grab the material to pull it up over your ankle. Perfect. And notice how she's rolling the suit back down in order to grab the inside material to pull it higher up on her leg, rather than pulling on the outside of the suit to try to get your foot, your foot through. And now just like a pair of tight jeans, we're gonna shimmy it up to our waist. And just squeeze your bum in. Perfect. When the suit's in this position, you yourself can grab the front and you can pull on the hips or you can pull on this side or you can get your friend who's helping you to grab the back and just double check that your, your hips are all the way into the suit. A friend can help you with the rest once the suit is on. So this is in a good position now to do the upper body. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill each arm with a little bit of baby powder. This. And you can put a little bit down your tummy if you need to, if it's still a little bit stuck on your upper body. So same rules apply. In one motion you want to put your hand in and in one motion try to get it all the way out. And then I'll show you how to get help to put it on later. Okay, so with a straight arm, lean on me. There you go. And somebody else other than you can very carefully help you move the arms up the shoulder. There should always be more than one person when you're on a swim start or out training. But if you yourself are pulling on the outside of the suit, you're going to tear the skin, the soft skin on the outside of the wetsuit. Get the wrist out. person helping you in the suit can tuck the person in. And every great wetsuit should have a reverse zipper. And you should always let someone help you put this on so that you don't break one of the teeth in the, in the zipper. You want to fix your collar? Mm -hmm. And if you are using a reverse zipper, just leave it just leave it hanging down like a tail. You don't need to tuck it up under here. That's just going to cause problems. The reason we use a reverse zipper is to keep the seal around the neck perfect. If this ever gets tugged on, it's not going to undo the Velcro and interrupt the seal around your, around your neck. And then when you do come out of the water, it's right behind you and you don't need to go searching behind your neck for your pull cord. Okay, so Barb's going to turn around. And the last thing she can do while she's on land is she's going to gather up the collar and just gently kind of bend over and as she stands up, it's just a real gentle pull. Perfect application of a wetsuit without tugging on the outside. 